James, uh, welcome back to Adelaide. You've been away a long time. It must be a great feeling to be back home. Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, you know, like you said, it's been 16 years since I left um, the A-League. Hadn't even started yet, so um, you know, for me to be back home um, in front of family and friends, especially this this time and chapter in my life, it's um, you know, I couldn't have asked for anything more. I believe you uh, sort of spoke informally to the club a few months ago about potentially coming back. Um, obviously, picked up those discussions again a couple of weeks ago. What sort of changed in those couple of months that maybe convinced you that it was the right time to come back here? Yeah, I think everyone knows that um, you know, I've known Bruce for a, a long time now, so um, you know, prior to Bruce there was never really any talks with Adelaide or an, an option for me, to, for me to come home. You know, I always got asked the question, but um, there was never really that connection there. And obviously as soon as I found out you know, Bruce got the job, first of all I called him to congratulate him. Um, and uh, obviously you know, we, we kind of touched base a little bit and said, you know, this is my kind of situation. Um, you know, possibility of um, you know coming here and, 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 and something happening. So, yeah, it took a little bit longer than expected, but um, you know, it, in the end, it, it all worked out pretty well. You have a young family, is that another reason to come back home, especially with having so much family? Yeah, definitely. Like I said, I've been away for a long time and I've um, got a little boy, he's just over three months old. So, um, you know, first and foremost, obviously, you know, family side of things is, is fantastic. and. And for me to be home and, and, and you know play my football in front of you know my family and friends, which I haven't been able to do for you know for 16 years. Obviously, I was at, at Mer in Melbourne, but um, it's it's completely different. Um, you know, I didn't really come back often. It was just a play, and then you know fly in one day and then fly out the next. So um, you know to be here, um, you know on the personal side of things, to get that support and help, and and obviously you know to 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 come back after so long and, and you know be able to play my football. Um, you know, my hotel, hometown, it's, it's fantastic. Have you already got plenty of calls for tickets for Friday? Yeah. <laughs> That's why negotiations took so long. I need the whole stand. Um, yeah, obviously, uh, you know, it's exciting times for, for myself, my family, my friends. Obviously, it's, it's, it's blown up a lot. I've got a lot of phone calls and texts, and w which is good to see. Um, so, uh, you know, really looking forward to, um, to, to getting started. Is this where you'll feel you end your career? And is that something you thought in the back of your mind would always happen? Um, not necessarily. I'm still relatively young. I feel relatively young. So um, it's it's just at this time in my life and my career, it's a, a fantastic opportunity to to be back home. And obviously, like I said, it took a little bit of time, but I'm glad um, you know things worked out the way they have. Um, so it's a two year deal, um, and ultimately, you know, things change very quickly in football. So. Um, as is, I'm, I'm here for two years, and we'll see what happens, um, you know, after that. Would you like to finish up here, though? Do you think? I think uh, I think it's a good prospect. You know, it's it's one of those where, like I said, I've um, I started here. I'm from here. I'm a South Australian boy. I've been away for for many years and and achieved many things throughout my career. Um, so. For me to come back and you know just just a, a little thing you know kids sitting in the stands watching me, thinking there's no reason why you know they can't you know go to a World Cup, um, go to the Olympics, you know win an Asian Cup. These are all the things I've achieved, and um, there's no reason why they can't achieve these things. You know, like I said, it's a, that that connection that I have um, that I will have with them. You know, I was sitting in those those seats and those shoes, you know, all those years ago. So there's no reason why they can't achieve these things. So little things like that as well were stuck in the back of my mind. Um, and it's, a, it's another thing that's, that's why it's fantastic, obviously not only for me and my family, but for, for young boys um, aspiring and, and girls aspiring to, um, you know, wanting to become a professional footballer. Uh, as much as you say, you might have a lot of um, family in the stands on uh, Friday night. How much will they see of you? Are you ready to go for 90 minutes or are you going to be eased in? Yeah, I think I'll be eased in. Um, obviously, uh, I've been um, training by myself and with some, some personal trainers for, for quite some time now, so it's going to take me um, a little bit of time to get match fitness. Obviously, uh, I, was, I was straight into things, you know, here I've, I've already had three sessions. Um, and ultimately that's up to the coach and, and, and the medical staff. Um, uh, you know, we, we 
don't want to rush things, but I want to get obviously back on the pitch as soon as possible. But we have to do it in a smart way as well. How long since you actually played 90 minutes? Uh, it would have been last season. Um, James, you obviously spoke to um, Gurchan, the, the coach, probably before finalising the deal. What excited you about um, his project here and his vision for the club? I think. Um, you know the the Dutch philosophy or his philosophy is, is quite exciting um, in terms of the attacking style of football he wants to play and, and obviously that I'm an attacking player so that's always uh, uh, a plus and, and and it excites me so um, and and knowing Bruce and and the way he does things and the way um, he wants the club to grow you know Adelaide's close to him as well and he played here for many years and and you know I know he likes likes the the, um, the the city and the state so um, the way things are going and, and bringing the likes of myself back and a lot of you know um, South Australian boys is, is fantastic to see so um, you know like anything it takes time but um, these are small steps that uh, are moving in the right direction that excite me. And you've played obviously overseas for a large chunk of your career under European coaches. Does Gurchan have some qualities that maybe remind you of some of those coaches you've, you've played under overseas? Yeah, I mean, I've dealt with a lot of um, Dutch coaches in, in, in the past. So, um, like I said, generally, and, and the Dutch kind of system and the philosophy is, is, is very attacking. Um, so, uh, I need to add what I add in the, in the team, and obviously, that's another reason why, you know. I'm here today, so you know he likes the way I play, and 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 ultimately, like I said, it takes a little bit of time to you know, like I said, I've only had three sessions, but um, um, ultimately, you don't want to start your season up here. You need to build it up. So um, you know, there's a young squad, so that will take a little bit of time to getting used to as well. But um, um, I'm sure uh, we'll look look at the FFA Cup. They've already started started well, and um, you know, it's it's exciting times ahead. Are you excited to, to work with Riley McGregor? I mean, he's almost like a similar player in your model, but a lot earlier in his career. That partnership in midfield, how do you envision that all working with? Yeah, obviously, I've spent a little bit of time with Riley. He's been in the national team a couple of times and stuff like that, so he's a, he's a good, young, exciting prospect. Um, so, you know, if. Uh, if I can teach him a thing or two, um, you know, it'd be fantastic. And um, you know, obviously, I'll, I'll try and implement that as as much as I can, not only for him but to all the boys, um, um, and vice versa. So uh, he's a good quality young player, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to um, having a connection there with him. Have you made peace with everything that happened with the national team, and is that still something that's really in the back of your mind as well going forward? Uh, not at all, to be honest. Um, I'm just, you know. Uh, want to enjoy my football so um, I'm, I'm your bread and butter voice said it is your, is your club football so that's all I'm focused on at the moment and like I said uh, you know your football your, your your family side of things so I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with with the way things are at the moment and um, you know I'm, I'm, that's all I'm focused on where, where can your football go to because a lot I mean people think 31 you're, you're starting to begin the twilight of your career but you so there's a lot left in you are you still looking to improve what what sort of player can you still become yeah. in the latter part of your career? Yeah, I think you can prove every day. Um, to be honest with you, you know, uh, I think it's the physically the best I've ever felt. So, you know, last season I had a fantastic season. Um, I was, <laughs> Bruce, Bruce corrected me, but I was, uh, you know, top assist of the, of the league by Craig, Craig Gould and Bebby Boy. Well, I won, so I didn't miss the last four games, though. So, um, <laughs> so you know, physically, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling really good, and, and I think you can always improve. Um, you know, I think my role would be a little bit different at the club. You know, like I said, there's a lot of younger boys, so more of a, you know, a, a role model or a mentor. Um, you know, hopefully, I can, um, you know, teach the boys a few things and vice versa. Um, I'm, I've always kept myself, you know, physically. In a, in a fantastic, um, you know, shape, and, and ultimately that's why I guess I'm a, I'm a young 31 year old. So, um, you know, in terms of my football, uh, yeah, there'll be no slowing down. Um, continue to, to wherever that takes me. Um, like I said, it's a two year a two year contract here, and ultimately I'd like to see the club, you know, um, in, in 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 a final or doing as. You know, trying trying to win it. Why not? Um, there's no reasons why why we can't or why we shouldn't. Obviously, um, you know that, that that takes time. But me, I've always set the 
the bar high and um, I'm not happy to just coast and, and, and go through the motions. So, um, you know, I want to push everyone, everyone has to push me and, and that's how you get the best out of everyone. James, you uh, began your football journey here in the, in the SA. Obviously, Adelaide City was a club that probably played a big role in your development. Looking back, how much do you think that grounding, both as a player and a person, sort of shaped your, your future career? Yeah, it was fantastic, obviously. I was, I was lucky enough to have uh, you know, really good family support as well. So um, my, my father actually started a football academy in, in South Australia. So most of our, our, our training was, was done with him. And then, then like I said, we, we floated to a, a few clubs, um, you know, Metro Stars, Bacala, West Adelaide. Adelaide City was probably the most um, you know, time I spent at a, at a club here. But um, like I said, it just goes to show that uh, you know, young boys, because you know, obviously in Melbourne, the state, Sydney are a lot bigger and um, you know, I guess a lot more population and players to choose from. But um, uh, there's no reason why you know, players from, from, from South Australia can't um, play at the highest levels. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of things that come with that, you know, discipline. Um, you know, you need a bit of luck on the way, you need family support, um, all these kind of things. But um, like I said, I've, I've had a, a humble um, upbringing. Um, you know, like it, it's, it's good to be back. And, um, you know, I was, I was helping the, the old man the last couple of weeks a little bit in, in, in the backyard and digging and then and, and, and <laughs> shoveling things and all that kind of stuff. So you get back to reality. But, you know, that's what it's all about. I'm, and especially this time in my career or this stage in my life, um, you know, I've got a, a little boy, like I said, so um, it's good for me to be back home at this point in time and, and not just for, for, for me, but for him and, and, my, and my, you know, my mum and, and my mum's obviously over the moon for me to be back and, and you know, just little things like that will help, help us and help out with the little one and stuff like that. Bruce, what does James add to the sport? Yeah, if I could sum it up in one word, I'd say quality. Um, he's a quality player. Uh, I had the pleasure of playing with him when I played and uh, I know firsthand how good he is. And, you know, uh, we've seen him in the, in the A-League or with the national team and he always provides quality. Uh, I think it doesn't matter who you, you talk to, that's, that's one word they'd use to describe him. So I feel our midfielder needed to add a bit of quality to be more competitive. Um, and I think we've done that in securing James. Bruce, when you uh, came into the job, you said I guess you had a bit of a blueprint <coughs> or a vision for recruitment. With James coming in, how close do you think um, the club is now to sort of completing that picture? I think you always want to improve. So while I'm relatively satisfied with what we've been able to bring in, con con considering uh, the resources that we have, I think uh, the job's been good to date, but we're always trying to improve. You know, on, unless you're getting Messi and Ronaldo, you're always going to want better and better players. Um, but when I first came in, I had a short list of names, and I've got to be honest, you know, Troisi and Magri were right near the top of that list, and, and we were able to get both of them. Um, and, you know, I think the squad not finalised yet, but, but we're very, very close. When did you first target James and how did it all come about? Oh, probably the day after I got the job. <laughs> um, but yeah, a lot of a lot of sort of hurdles to, to jump through and, and negotiations to be had. And you know, you're talking about a player who had a lot of options. You know, he, he didn't come to Adelaide because he didn't have anywhere else to go. He came to, to Adelaide because he really genuinely wanted to be here. In saying that. When, when the negotiation started, because there were so many options on, on the table for him, and me being a past player, I also understand that situation. Um, I didn't want to force the issue. It was, it was more like, well, I don't want to beg you to come here. I want you to come here because you want to be here. Um, so you filter through uh, what options you have and, and you let me know what, what, what you want to do. So it's only the last month, if, I, if, if I'm honest, where it really started to ramp up and um, coming to Adelaide United became a realistic target for James. So, you know, it took a bit of work to, to make that happen, but um, that's sort of the process that, that we went through. James, there's a cup final coming up in a, a few weeks' time. Um, how much of a target is that for you to come in? Obviously, you've won the Asian Cup, but I don't think you've won a, a major trophy, sort of a club level. That must be a huge incentive so early yeah. in his career. Am I that? No. 
No, I don't think I'm allowed to play in that. Right. It's uh, it's cup tight, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, it's because uh, the the it, James signed after the registration period for the FA Cup yeah. had, had had closed for the final, so he'll be watching from the stands with the rest of his family for that one. <laughs> yeah, but like you know, obviously the boys have. Have done wonders and to, to, to get into this into this position and you know that's a that's a trophy already that you can grab so um, obviously um, you know, excited for the club and, and the boys in general so um, I'm fortunate that I can't be involved but um, you know excited that you know it's a, possibly a, a cut for the club. Bruce, you said um, you said that you had uh, you almost finalised the list. Now. From what Kitchen said. Last week, I think it was. You're going to have to sign a Chinese player. So, is it a matter of finding somebody who's of the quality, or is that that level from the sister club, or is it something else that we're waiting on? Yeah, no, we're looking. Um, you know, we're we're almost there. Um, I expect that by the end of uh, this week, uh, we've got the player signed up, and uh, by the end of next week, uh, it's announced. So I don't want to speculate too much on you know, future signings, um, but that's sort of the, the broad sort of timeline, if you like, on, on that getting done. So just lastly, Jack, you've penciled in the first clash with victory, and, and how do you think you'll be received by your old fans? <laughs> when is it? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you haven't penciled it yet. <laughs> no, I mean, ultimately, that, that's football. It, it, Things change, you know, pretty quickly, and um, you know, I had uh, a good time there, good memories, and obviously, uh, you know, I would probably actually like to, to thank the the fans, um, the ones that have always, obviously always supported me um, for my time there. But um, like I said, ultimately, that that came to an end, and and, and I'm a I'm a Adelaide player now, so um, yeah, it'll be. Uh, I think that clash with Adelaide and. And Melbourne is always a, a little rivalry and a little mini derby, I guess. So, um, you know, it's 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 going to be uh, you know fantastic. I look forward to it. Um, so, uh, yeah, definitely uh, definitely be a, an exciting one to to be involved in. Obviously, on the other side now. Twenty third of November here. There you go. Perfect. Don't Can't wait. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks I'm sure I have some some friends from Melbourne coming down for that one as well. <laughs>